So now you're in Chicago, Young D yeah. Rose. Yeah, Young Quiet D Rose. Quiet as hell, but, oh, but solid, a real one. Man, you could say he was like Jeff. Yeah, You really. could say he was like Jeff, like very quiet until you, until you meet him and start rocking with him. And then one of the funniest guys ever. Really? One of the funniest See, I, guys I never, ever. See, I hear that all the time about D Rose, bro. But when you're playing against him, he don't talk. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But you know he a real one, you know, well respected yeah. around the league. And I hear he got a hell of a personality, he funny as shit, but he don't oh, talk during man. the games. Bro, just just sitting back and just being a rookie and knowing that uh right, you ain't gonna play that night mm -hmm. was 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 fine with, with me knowing that I got my work in and now I'm about to watch the best basketball player in the league at this time. You hear me? The things that he was doing was so incredible. Was that MVP? Was that his MVP year? That was a year before his year MVP. Before his MVP. <laughs> his yeah. MVP, yeah, yeah, he just picked up where he left off yeah, for real. Yeah, boy. That shit was, that, that shit, I ain't never seen no shit like that. Huh. That shit was crazy. I mean, he had everything. Everything. He had everything. Athleticism, handles, quickness, could shoot, could get to the basket. He had everything. Everything. Yo, I'll never forget, we was in LA, we just got done playing the Lakers, and we were walking back to our locker, and, and Bean just looked at him and was just like, God rest his soul. But Bean looked at him and was like, "You a bad, mm. just like that." You get the step from stamp from code. Yo, mm. that gave me the chills, and he, he wasn't even talking to me. Mm. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, my man is the one for real." Man, he's the one for real, and you know, I mean, he always kept him humble. Always got a wild respect for D Rose, but like I said, he he made those years where you weren't playing like exciting to still be at the game and watch and and tune into the game, you know what I mean? Like A lot of young guys now, they're, they're not in the game and they're not even into the game. Exactly. And, and that's what that's what really, really messes you up with like good comes to good type, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Spo says it all the time when you pulling energy or you energy vamping. And you know, you don't really see that until you know what that is, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then you can kind of pick it up. So young yeah. guys, if you out there watching, what you should be, the OG podcast is it. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now, what people don't know about you is you a hell of a golfer. I'm a golfer. You, you a hell of a golfer, and you, if I'm not, you told me you started playing golf when you was in Chicago, I right? I was in Chicago, right. So, Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen, Tony Kukoc, I went to a golf event with them for the first like two days I was in Chicago. Mm. Only thing I ever picked up a club before that was, I took an Arnold Palmer class at Wake Forest. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a class. I still thought that was a drink. <laughs> nah, I took a. I still thought it was. A drink. I still thought that was a drink. I didn't know this man had a class. No disrespect, nah, Mr. Palmer. I'm just nah. saying. But uh, nah, he went to Wake Forest, so I took his Wake. I took his his uh, golf class, and uh, they taught us the grip and all that. So from then on out, I thought I I can golf. You mm. know, I went with um to that event with Scotty Pip, Tony Cool Coach. And I was garbage, bro. Not I worse to me. I was garbage, bro. They was making me pick up my ball. You know what I mean? Like yeah. get back in the car like I was a child. So yeah. I was I was no good with that. My mentality clicked in again. I was like, nah, I'm gonna be the best at golfing. Mm. I'm gonna be the best at golfing. Yo, golfing can make you miss your perspective of what what's real. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. yo, basketball was the real deal. Like, you're supposed to be putting in extra shots, getting in extra work, whatever. I'm over here trying to get my chip game right. <laughs> no, that's real, yo, bro. That's that's real. Real. And it's time yeah. consuming. Like, I tell people all the time, because me, I, like, I, I want to get better at golf, but I tell people all the time, you got to make time to play golf. If you think you're just going to have time at some point throughout your week, you're going to run around and like, okay, I get an hour to go hit at the right. golf. No, you got to make time to play golf. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to get somewhat good at it, you got to make time and put the time aside to actually play exactly. golf. Yeah, I feel like if you ain't putting no time in golf and you just going sporadically or yeah. once a month, like you should go and have fun. You shouldn't even get tight when you hit a bad shot for real. You know what I mean? That don't work for you, me, JJ. You don't, you don't, you don't practice. If you don't practice on something, how you expect it, the shot to be good? But why not? When you go back, you won't just be a little bit better than you was last nah, time. That's that's what I. Um, it's just a just a a tad bit better than I was last time. I can, be, I, that's I, working reverse for me. I'd be a tad bit worse than I was last time. I can like be, that shit, <laughs> I can be a tad, drive me crazy, yeah, dog. Do like that, I'm, I'm consistently you. inconsistent on the golf nah, course. Nah, I'm telling you, that's how it works. I I can miss two days and be terrible 
the next day. You know when the best time I had when we went out there when it was the, remember when yeah. it was the pandemic? Yeah, and right, me and right. you and Ko went out there. Yeah, fine. Man, yeah, by hole number nine, I was seeing doubles. <laughs> <laughs> by hole number nine, I was seeing doubles. That's the best time I had at the golf course since. I ain't had a exactly. time like that since, dog. Nah. And that's when I knew you was real with this. Shit. And I'm thinking I'm finna invite you and KO, and I'm finna be the vet, and y'all kick my mother. Ass out there. Nah, nah, we put in pain though. KO was good. So KO was nice with that. Like, Shout out to Kelly Olin, that, man. Yeah. Back, backwards hat with everything. Yeah. At the golf course. Everything. Wronged in the <laughs> day care. <laughs> so now the, the the golf thing is is you know one thing, but you know what else that people don't know about you? Like tell me something that people don't know about JJ. Like I didn't know you played golf until I saw you play golf, but what else people don't know about JJ, man? What what what's something that you could tell me that people don't know about you? Yeah, that's a good question. Yo, I'm, I'm pretty private when it comes to like. I could tell people one yeah, thing: like, he got a big yeah. heart. Yeah, he tough as nails, and he'll kick your ass, but he got a big <laughs> heart. That's one thing I know about you: you got a big heart, bro. If somebody's your family or your friend. Or you consider somebody a family or a friend, bro, you'll give them the shirt off your back. I've, I've literally probably mm -hmm. seen you do that. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I've probably yeah. seen you do that. Is that from growing up in a household with eight eight siblings or, I mean, seven siblings? Or is that just, where, where did that come from? Where that big ass heart come from, bro? I think that from my mother always telling me to act good. You know what I mean? Yeah. For real, like, I just want everybody to understand the same thing that, Jim Carrey said, like, you can have millions of dollars if it don't make you happy. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, I live by that. So, if this shirt going to make you happy and you think you're going to be a better person, you can take it for real. <laughs>